My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in these days, we are burdened of hearing about COVID-19. We are burdened of all precautions from keeping ourselves quarantined, isolating with social distance, suffocating by wearing face masks most of the time, feeling nerve-wracking when we go shopping or public events. We are burdened of bombarding news from social media, which become the primary source of our burnout. We are burdened of all kinds of worries and sufferings nowadays. Today's Gospel brings words of comfort from our Lord Jesus Christ. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. When you are overwhelmed with the global pandemic and source and civil unrest, when you are overwhelmed with financial misfortunes, the down times in your marriage, the boring aspect of your job, the continuous care of your children, concern with your declining health or that of the loved ones, no matter where your pains and problems come from, Jesus invites you to come to him and he will give you rest. When Jesus said, and I will give you rest, he is telling us, I am here to lift the burdens of life from your shoulders. I will take them on me if you will let me. If you are oppressed and bent under the accumulation of too many demands and concerns, Jesus stands ready to lighten your load. If you are exhausted from juggling bills, kicks, work, and all the pressing problems, Jesus can restore your weary spirit. Be at peace is the assurance of the Lord. And not to be afraid is the repeated instruction in the Bible. Jesus assures us, do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. In the shadow of his wings, you will find unconditional love and acceptance. Whatever you are facing at the moment, let the Savior face it with you. It's because we don't fully understand God's will and design. It is hard to believe that God's love is there in human sufferings. Jesus was the embodiment of suffering. His apostles and followers had to follow the same route of suffering. The early Christian martyrs marched to the Colosseum singing when they were destined to suffer and to die. The saints had to follow the path of heroic suffering. Many, many holy men and women are purified in painful living. When we are confronted with problems and paradoxes of daily life, when we are a burden with dire daily needs, ill or well, let us not be angry with God or curse nobody, but accept the un unavoidable. 
in the second letter to the Corinthian, St. Paul remarks, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Pray and be in peace with the destiny unavoidable. Take time to rest in Christ and reset your life. Keep your faith steadfast in the deliverance of God. For St. James states in his letter, Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial, for when he has been proved, he will receive the crown of life that God promised to those who love him. Amen.